Okay, today's video is to show you a new add-on to my Minn Kota. This one is great, but it's a little complicated. Um, there's a lot of features here that you don't need 90% of the times. This one is going to be a lot easier to use, bigger buttons, and it has 90% of the features that this one has. And what I don't like about this one is that you have to turn it on and agree on the terms. And on this one, you can just press the button right away and it works. This one has a delay of uh, maybe 10 seconds while you press and agree on the terms, which I don't like that feature. So we're gonna try this one. So I think this is gonna be a better remote for the Minkota since I'm going to attach it on the dash. And this one I can have it as spare, but this one's gonna be the main one that I'm gonna be using. And look at the size difference. This one is about 50% smaller than this one here. A lot lighter too. Let me show you where I'm gonna install it at. All right, so this is where I would like to attach it. That way I have my left arm control this and my right arm, I can control the steering and the engine. So if I wanna use it as a bow thruster, there's no way I'll be able to use one hand with this. I have to use both hands so by attaching this remote here, I just push a button here and have my right hand free to be using the steering wheel and also use my throttle. So that's gonna work awesome to use my Minn Kota as a bow thruster. Look how tiny it is. All right, let's see what kind of battery it has inside. CR2450. Very thick battery, so I think it's gonna last a long time. And if you look at it, it has a gasket there, so it looks like this is definitely waterproof. Very expensive, this remote. This one was $100. So they are very expensive, and this is like $160. But look at the size. And if you wanna wear this one uh, around your neck, it comes with a lanyard, same thing as this one. You can put this around your neck, and it's very, very light. I love it, so small. Now, to attach this to the dash is gonna be quite difficult because as you see, it's not even surfaced. So I'm gonna to have to do some modifications so I'll be able to install it on the dash because I'm going to use 3M two-way tape to attach this to the dash because I'm not gonna be drilling no holes on the dash. So this is gonna be quite difficult, like I said, because of the back it has this lump here so I really need to engineer something here to make it uh, stick there with no problems. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna get a napkin and some alcohol and spread it around the remote. So that way the 3M two-way tape will get good grip on the unit here. And also I'm gonna do here where the dash is so we can get a good bonding here. So what I have to do here is I'm gonna put a bunch of layers here of two-way tape and one layer here so that way in the future if I need to change the battery once I remove it I'll be able to open this up just by removing the uh, two-way tape on this side only now I'm just gonna place one long layer from here all the way to the back here See now that it's flexible, it's gonna be squishing to the dash, it's gonna get a good grip. See it looks awesome and it's very strong. I didn't have to open any holes. Very strong. So since it's so light, the two-way tape is gonna work perfect. Alright, so I'm gonna release the Makoda. So I believe now I have to pair it. All right, since the instruction says that you have to take the remote over there and press the pair button, I got my assistant here. She's gonna press the button and keep it pressed. And I have to toggle these two switches here, the rabbit and the north. Okay, you ready? Go ahead, keep it pressed. Press it again and keep it pressed. Let it go. Okay. Perfect. Is it moving? All right, perfect. So, all right, thank you for helping. 
All right, so if I'm approaching a dock and I want to use the bold thruster, now it's a lot easier because I just push this button here. And look at the head moves. Very quick. So, so if I'm on the dock and my bow is moving that way and I put the engine all the way to starboard, the back of the boat is going this way, but the front needs to go this way. Too. So I will press this button here. And now the boat is going to go this way. And as soon as I feel the boat moving, I just shut it off. So now this remote will work better as a bow thruster than using this other remote here. This other remote, I needed both hands to be able to use it and release it and where I'm going to put it at as I'm using it at the same time. So this one is put and some steering here. I can just come hit the button quick. And it's moving. And if I need to change directions, look how quick. Now the motor is going to pull me that way if I'm getting too close to the dock. And if I want to come back again, only takes two seconds to three seconds to change the position. So I love it to have it here better than having this huge remote, which the buttons are so harder to reach. And this one is very simple. And when I'm reaching a fishing spot on the chart plotter, I just have to look and quickly hit the anchor button. And that's it. And now the boat will be anchored. You can hear it's on. And just to shut it off. And these are the speeds right here, plus and minus. And also if I want to use the jock feature, it's right here, backwards, forward, side to side. So everything is here, anchor, if you want the autopilot to north. So basically everything that I use is here. And what I don't like about this remote is that, look, once you turn it on, you have to press OK. And it's working. But that takes a couple of seconds, which is not bad. Let me shut it off again and show you. And also to shut it down, it takes a couple of seconds. You got to keep the button hold. But this one, you don't have to press nothing. All you have to do is just push it and it's ready to the command. The reason they make this one like this is because there's a disclaimer here that they want you to read and agree on it. So when you turn it on, this you see that disclaimer right there? You have to press OK, OK, to agree with the disclaimer. But with this one here, you don't have that. And look how small the anchor button is on this one. And this is the most feature that you need on the remote. And this one is right up here, very big, so you don't miss it. This one, you really have to look at the remote and look for it. And if you see the speed here, as I'm pressing the remote faster, you'll see the speed changing right there. So it communicates with this one also. Any command that you push on this one, this one is also gonna see it and it's gonna be sent to the head. That is awesome because you can have five of these units all paired up to the engine if you have different uh, fishermen inside the boat. This boat did not come with the option of a bow thruster because it doesn't have any room to install one down here. So now my Minn Kota is gonna be my bow thruster. It's gonna have multi-use. Um, I'm gonna to learn to use it as a bow thruster when I get to the docks. And in a future video, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use it as a bow thruster. And I will place the link in the description below if you wanna check out this remote. It's good because it's small and you can wear it on your neck. It's not as heavy. You can put it in your pocket. It's a lot easier to maneuver. And 90% of the features are inside that remote instead of that big, clumsy, big remote. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Navigate safe.